Welcome to my art channel. I'm Doug Tenapel. I'm the creator of Earthworm Jim, the Neverhood, Neverhood, Cat Scratch, 20 graphic novels. I'm an Emmy Award nominee and loser, winner of the Eisner Award for comics, and my games have gotten Game of the Year. I'm a born-again Christian. Let's get to Richard Dreyfus on art. Starting in 2024, films will be required to meet new inclusion standards um, to be eligible for the Academy Awards for Best Picture. They'll have to have a certain percentage of actors or crew from underrepresented racial and ethnic groups. What do you think of these new inclusion standards for films? They make me vomit. They're insulting to anyone who has merit because it says instead of you getting the role or you getting a place on the crew because you're good, they're saying you get it because of your DNA or the amount of melanin in your skin. Art will only decrease and get worse so if you are a fan of art and truly a lover of art, then you will be against diversity, equity, and inclusion standards for anything. It is anti-excellence. It is anti-art. And no one should be telling me as an artist that I have to give in to the latest, most current idea of what morality is. He actually uses the word should. That's why I outlined it. Because should is a moral word. He said, no one should tell me whatever the newest fad in morality is. It must be something older. Your morality must be something older than whatever was invented in the last 30 years. Are we crazy? Do we not know that art is art? Okay, art is art. That's the law of identity, I believe he's going for. That's Aristotle. Art, a is A, the law of identity. It is what it is. Art is art. It does not become art just because you have the right diverse amount of people working on it. That doesn't help it at all. You see, art has its own identity. It's true in and of itself. And he's using that as a standard, holding it as judgment against these false narratives of what they say art is. So remember, art is art. A is A, law of identity. Why do you think modern films are mostly crap? Because we're going through this uh, uh, strange need to not create, but to create sequels. Sequels are death. Okay, what is a sequel and why does it make creativity crap? Because the 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 goal of the of creativity is to make something anew. It is to pull something out and make it. When you're doing a sequel, you're saying, okay, that was already created and now we're building off of that thing. So in that sense, making sequels and repeating yourself and doing the same thing over and over again is technically not creativity. It is, uh, it doesn't have to be cowardice, but it tends to be. It's one, it's one thing to be around a generation of people who went for it, who risked it, who said, let's, let's go for it. And they did, and they made great films. He's talking about all the greats that he got to work with from Lucas on American Graffiti to Jaws. I mean, this is back when great filmmakers, they took risks. Coppola with The Godfather, they took risks. You cannot be a great artist without taking a risk. You have to go for it because you pursue that art integrity. What will you make? Number one, go for it. Make great art. I'm Doug. This is my art channel. Welcome.